Hey there, Richard from No Pants Profits, and I do have to tell you, today I'm in a state of denial. Well, not denial, but the Nile. This is the Nile River in Cairo, Egypt. I'm over here in Egypt with Globus on one of their Globus escapes, which includes pyramids, which includes a Nile cruise, which includes you know, a lot of your food and drinks and everything like that, and really gets you into the Egyptian culture. So I welcome you to kind of follow along. You can see everything that's going on and, you know, Maybe it's a great deal, maybe it's a good deal, but there's no denying that it's going to be an adventure. This is Richard from No Pants Profits from the Nile in Cairo, Egypt. So we are at our first stop of the tour at the Pyramids of Giza, and they, I don't know the names of the pyramids, but there's kind of a father, son, and a grandson. And right now we're standing in front of the Father Pyramid. Let me show you the Father Pyramid. And you can see there's uh, quite a line to get inside. This is the biggest of the pyramids, one of the, well, actually the last of the seven wonders of the ancient world. And you'll see the line to get inside. You can just see the size of the stones. And it costs about 500 Egyptian pounds to get inside of this pyramid. Now, the interesting thing that our tour guide told us is the inside of the pyramid it's not that great, no. And the inside of the pyramid is the inside of a pyramid is the inside of a pyramid. So there is another pyramid, which we're gonna to go to in a bit, that's actually only 100 pounds to get inside. So, you know, quarter of the cost or less uh, to get inside that the inside of a pyramid is the inside of the pyramid is the inside of the pyramid. But this is the granddaddy of the pyramids in Giza. And you'll see right here, the line to get on the inside. Now, one of the weirdest things okay. about this so far was that you had to go through security, but then as soon as you went through security, you would go right back to your bus. I will say there are actually a ton of armed security guards here. Every single group, including our group with Globus, has an armed security guard that's following them at all times. This is actually kind of like Israel one of the safest places I've ever felt because there's literally a ridiculous amount of security here. So this is the first of the pyramids and you'll see people waiting to get in. Again, there is the line right there. And there's the entrance, not on the first floor, but up a bit. And you'll see the normal entrance up a little bit more. So, and you can't take photos inside the pyramids or tomb so we might not be able to see what's really going on there so we are here at pyramid two between the two pyramids and this is the pyramid that you should go down and tour i'm going to be brutally honest with you it cost about four dollars for the ticket i got to the entrance and that was much 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 too claustrophobic for me. The guide said, hey, there's a bit of claustrophobia problem. I don't think she understands uh, American claustrophobia. Plus, I'm a big guy. If you're watching this and you want to go in the pyramids, uh, just realize it is very, 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 very claustrophobic. I got a photo of the entrance that you can see. But uh, the second pyramid, which is the Sun's Pyramid, is the one you want to check out. Still out here, there is a boatload of security. I feel very, very safe here. But right now, I'm literally, if I spin around, I am between two of the Great Pyramids. The Father's Pyramid right there, which is the one with the big line to get into, and the Son's Pyramid. But that was uh, quite a bit uh, too steep and claustrophobic of an entrance to get down into the pyramid there. So uh, your mileage may vary. Now I am literally coming to you from the back of a camel. So we'll see. There is Mr. Camel. And then we've got all the pyramids right this way. Highly, highly, highly recommend you do a camel ride. Now, any tour you have generally isn't gonna include a camel ride due to the liability, uh, just because, I mean, I'm up on like an eight foot tall camel right now, but due to the liability, they're probably not gonna include this, but uh, it's $10 right now as of 2023, $10, and then you leave a two to $5 tip, uh, but yeah. Really, uh, quite an amazing experience. Yeah, yeah, all good, all good. Okay, now let's go. Let's go. So it's good. You need any pictures? You need any video? No. Okay. And you'll see. Um, we've got the camel guy leading us right here. Yalla, yalla. Now let's go. It's literally like 
right that out of. I stopped to make you a nice picture. Before yes. You get down. <laughs> it's literally like right out of Aladdin. It's uh, absolutely amazing. If you come to the pyramids of Giza, you've got to do a camel ride uh, right by the pyramids because it is an insanely awesome uh, bucket list experience uh, here in Egypt. It literally feels like surreal. So cool. All right, so after the camel, we are here now at the Sphinx. And I will tell you, the amount of uh, corruption in this country is amazing. Uh, we have a much quieter spot for the Sphinx that they were only letting certain tourists in. You can tell how many palms have been greased uh, and just the, the amount of corruption, the amount of mafia, the amount of all of that here is uh, absolutely incredible. But instead of being in an area that's you know completely full like below, we've got this nice little platform that's nearly empty and we can see from more of a distance, we can see the Sphinx, we can see the pyramids, we can see everything like that. But if you do go, do just don't ever come here on your own because the amount of mafia, the amount of bribing, the amount of corruption I've seen go on, hey, it's a good thing, uh, uh, has been uh, very, 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 very high. And I do say uh, my favorite guy so far is the guy that's in our group wearing a full suit out in the Egyptian heat carrying a uh, fully automatic weapon under his suit and uh, I'm staying closer to him than to the tour guides because if we've got one of those with every single group you know there's a reason that one of those is with every single group but yeah really amazing view of uh, all three of the big pyramids and the sphinx right there and unfortunately the sphinx is missing his nose Oh, its nose. I don't, I don't want to misgender the Sphinx, and uh, nobody knows why it's missing its nose. So after the pyramids, we went ahead and we had lunch. We actually went to a barbecue restaurant that was much better than expected and much cheaper than expected. I do have to say that uh, Egypt has to be the only country I've ever been to that the dollar is actually still strong. For 10 bucks, we had a giant barbecue lunch. But right now, we are inside of the Egypt Museum, the Egyptian Museum. Now, this is unfortunately the old museum because the new museum is not open yet. The new museum, for those of you familiar, the new museum is like Elon Musk saying that Teslas are gonna drive themselves. Uh, it's, it's, they've been saying they're gonna open the new museum for the last 10 years, but uh, the new museum is uh, not here yet, but this is where King Tut is. So we're gonna take a look at King Tut, well, or what's, what's left of King Tut in the Egyptian museum. So after spending about two hours in the Egyptian museum, all I could say is, wow, just wow. I'm up in the King Tut section right now in the part that you can actually film. I would say the closest thing to this museum I've ever seen is the Hermitage. The Louvre, everybody says the Louvre is impressive. I'm, I'm not impressed by that. This is truly impressive. Again, the Hermitage is truly impressive as well, but the setup, everything here, I'll just show you a little bit of the uh, King Tut exhibit. This is actually King Tut as a child. Well, he died as a, as a child, so that's a life-size statue of King Tutankhamun, or King Tut. And then, you know what's funny? One of, one of the ways, one of the things that kind of got me interested in Egypt at a, at a very early age was actually King Tut's throne. And uh, in Bush Gardens in Florida, they used to have this exhibit that you could actually see the treasures of King Tut's throne. And the thing I remember more than anything else, other than the big King Tut head, was actually Tut's throne. And they actually have the throne right here. So you can see this is actually King Tut's throne and footstool right there. Now, this, this right now is low season. This is when it should be quiet. This is when things should be quiet uh, and it's not quiet at all. It's actually uh, very, very busy. Uh, unfortunately, in some of the other galleries, you can't actually take photos and videos in unless you pay tens of thousands of dollars to take professional ones because Egypt believes, you know, that they own this, but when you go inside of this gallery right here, in the treasures of King Tut, is where you'll actually see that head. So that's me taking a photo of a photo, another photo of a photo of a photo of a photo of a photo. There is the actual thing, and you can see, again, this is low season, 
This is uh, late April. So there's a line to get in. I can't even imagine what the line is to get into the King Tut treasure room at uh, busier times of the year. And also this museum is relatively empty by the standards of this museum and it's still exceptionally warm in here. So don't worry about needing a jacket being cold because it's inside or anything like that. But it is a gigantic collection. We saw a minuscule amount of the collection. Uh, I'll show you a little bit of the collection now that we uh, took some photos of. And it is just an immense and massive collection at the Egyptian Museum. Again, tied for number one museums I've ever been to, along with the Hermitage in Russia. And it's very hard for Americans to get over to St. Petersburg, Russia nowadays. So, um, you know, the, the number one you can, number one museum you can still go to is the uh, Egyptian Museum Collection in Cairo, Egypt.